Hey everybody, it's Joe from GreenLightSound.com, and today we're going to take a look at another one of Andrew Shep's parallel processes, and this one has to do with parallel compression on drums, his parallel Fairchild drum crush. And of course, Andrew Shep's now works completely in the box, and the Fairchild plugin he uses for this drum crush is the Waves Puig Child 670, but you can pretty much use any Fairchild emulation you may have, and we'll test out a couple others in just a couple minutes to see how they stack up to this one. Basically, we're taking the entire drum kit and sending it to a separate aux or bus channel with this on it, and we're getting some parallel compression that way. The settings on the Fairchild are really, really simple. First of all, it's pretty much left stock settings the way Andrew Sheps does it. The input gain is at 12, the threshold's right above 2, the time constant is at its fastest setting of 1, there is no output gain set. The only thing that has changed is we're off the linked setting, which is like a stereo compressor where both sides are treated equally, and we set it on the left-right setting where the left and right channels are being compressed independently of each other. Though we have the left and right channel set with the exact same settings, though. Now, one thing you may have to adjust when you use this technique is to adjust the threshold a little bit depending on your source. Sometimes Andrew Sheps has some like really hot drum mixes with all his processing leading into this parallel technique. So on this threshold setting of just above two, you might not get enough compression. I like to boost it up so we're getting at least a few dB of compression to really get the effect of the Fairchild drum crush. Otherwise, it just sounds like it's barely compressing, not really crushing the drums at all. So let's hear it without this channel in at all. This is just the regular drum mix that Fairchild is bypassed. Now let's engage it with just the settings we have right here. So it's barely getting any compression. So what I'm gonna do is take that threshold and I'm gonna dial it up a little bit until we get maybe two or three dB of compression. And this is what that sounds like all by itself. This is bypass, just that signal. And with the compression on this parallel channel, a little bit of output gain to level match. So you can see if we had that threshold all the way down at two, you're barely getting any compression. So we really have to dial this up a bit because the signal is not that hot in this mix. And now I'm just gonna take the fader of this parallel channel and blend it in with the rest of the signal. I'll bypass it on and off with the solo and mute button up here. Now you're gonna hear a little change in level, but that's typical of a parallel process. So it adds a nice smack to the drums and thickens up the drums a little bit. Let's try this with a different Fairchild plugin now. So next we're going to take a look at the T-Rex Vintage Compressor. This is the IK Multimedia Fairchild. And to get the same result as the Waves, I had to change the settings quite a bit because I had to push the input gain in order to get the same amount of gain reduction. But blending this in with the full signal, we get this sound. And again, I'll turn it on and off with the solo and mute button. And now let's try it with one more Fairchild plugin. So the last Fairchild we're going to take a look at is the UAD Fairchild. And this is what it sounds like just on this parallel channel by itself. And now let's blend that in with the rest of the drum track. And 
and I'll bypass it on and off with that solo and mute button again. There's something about what this one does to the low end, especially the kick drum that I really do like, but any of these Fairchilds will work to add some beef, to add some punch, to add some fullness to your drum sounds with this really simple parallel process, courtesy of Andrew Sheps. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.